届いたにてりってからのトロコトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトト In which we will be talking about creating allyships with plants to explore your inner world, what is alive inside of you, what is the most authentic and true essence that wants to be expressed and created from in this world. And when we start exploring that unique essence that runs through our bodies and we devote ourselves to do this inner work of healing our shadows and integrating the lessons from our traumas and from our ancestral lineages that we are inheriting, and we start really unpeeling all of these layers of fear programming and the sort of deceptional. Believes that we are being told is truth. You start peeling all of that off. I do not like you because you do not allow me to expand and experience the fullness of this life. We get the opportunity to really have a human experience where we metamorphosize and ascend into a new kind of human being. And that is the special time that we are all alive in right now. Everybody has this opportunity. So that is why I feel so passionate right now of sharing this way of exploring yourself, of healing, of creating, of living in this world in connection with nature and not just. Working with plants to heal, but to work with the plants in a co creative manner, you know. And that's what an ally is. That is what a plant ally is. That is a spirit, a plant spirit, that you will have a deep connection with that is going to be cultivated throughout your entire life. If it is your ally, it is here to strengthen your core and your mission, and it can really support you in that which you are here to share and co create in this world. So, it is a relationship that's going to be cultivated for a very long time. And it needs attention, devotion,、um, and openness to flourish inside of us. But when we give that, the amount of support that we are being gifted with is just absolutely so precious and so beautiful. And, but the plants are so beautiful in the sense that they have their own. Um, teachings and essences and energies、um, and ways of you know, awakening that which is already inside of us because that is what they do when we connect with them. They show us their own sort of this is my sort of world, this is what I can teach you, and then something will be awakened inside of us that we might have forgotten, or maybe it is something new that our soul is desiring to experience or learn in this life. And this plant can support us in the awakening of that, in the inspiration of the creative potential that we can utilize to expand ourselves within that. So, there are so many positive、um, aspects to communing with plants and to learning from them and journeying with them. And so, in today's episode, I will be talking about the different ways of connecting with plants that you can try out yourself. See this all as inspiration. This is how I want to share it. There is not just one way of connecting with plants or journeying with plants, okay?、Um, and so, by me sharing this, I am going to share with you that which has been very effective and working for me、uh, in cultivating my relationships. And I personally am not following any specific traditions when I do this work. I believe, you know, from the beginning, we have it in our soul records and memories to work with plants in this way because that is what we've been doing since ancient times. It's just that the more materialized we have become and 
and the more the technocratic way of living and through that us disconnecting from nature we forget we forget the true way of living in harmony with nature in order for us to feel fully supported and anchored in to this life as a human being right but there are um, some known indigenous cultures in South America, for example, that is working with plants in this way. They have kept that um, way of living and connecting alive, which is really beautiful. Um, and I just want to highlight this because I have been inspired by that. When I started doing my own journeys, that was what came into my awareness because the way that I am working with plants is I have allowed it to awaken naturally inside of me and that is an important part of my journey in this life in everything that I do is to find my own authentic expression and my own uh, ways of living and creating and and um, practicing right um, and um, yeah sort of creating my own modules through deep listening and connecting to that which I am inspired by and so I have had many many lives in this world before where I've worked with plants in many different ways and through the connections that I have reawakened in this life this wisdom is re-emerging inside of me and the plants are basically showing me this is how you can do it this is how you are supposed to do it and this is how you are going to share it with the world so it is beautiful you know that we can get inspired by the way others are living or the way others are creating and then to take what resonates with us and design our own sphere, our own ways of being within that and exploring ourselves through that. That is something that I feel extremely passionate about and that I want to um, uh, really uh, communicate the importance and encourage the importance of connecting to our own heart essence listen to our inner guidance and create from that instead of thinking that okay now i'm in this box and i have to do this exact thing to connect or that is the only way to do it and oh well according to tradition this is how it needs to be done no we are entering a new time right now it is important to honor the traditions that have been carried forward by our ancestors. But what I feel and how I'm being guided is that we should allow ourselves to create something new from that and to allow ourselves to experience a new part of ourselves through cultivating that creative potential and expand within it. <laughs> So before I start talking about what is a plant ally and um, what is a plant teacher, because when you start exploring yourself through these connections, you will find that you will meet plants that just have something to teach you. And then you'll be like, oh, thank you so much. Oh. And then they'll probably be like, well, bye. I'm just going to be in your memory now. <laughs> and when you see it, of course, you'll be like, oh, I remember. Do, do, do. Thank you. <laughs> and then you will... Uh, probably meet plants that you're going to have a deeper connection with that you're going to realize during your connection that okay okay wow you're awakening this inside of me right now and that is one of my core essences and you suddenly connect to what it is that you're really good at like this is like this core uh, seed inside of you that you can now explore and um, in whatever way that wants to express itself. So the plant that you connect with that might be able to support that growth or expansion might be a plant that you're going to have a deeper connection with. So it could be that it's going to become your ally. And an ally is a plant that, again, can strengthen your core mission. It's going to be like a polarity also to your constitution in a way. This is what I found um, 
is true for my own connections that I had have with my allies that I'm working with. Right now I have three, three plants that are in my team that I work with in different ways. Um, they are the most active at the moment. It is the pine tree, um, it is tobacco, and it is mother mugwort. So I will make individual videos on these plants to share with you how they have come to me because these plants have literally entered my life. It is not me searching for them. They've come to me and they will do that for you as well when you are ready to um, connect to these specific teachings and the wisdom that will be awakening you through your connections. Um, and I will also share with you uh, what are their medicinal attributes and how do they communicate with me? What have they been teaching me and how do I work with them? Because that is uh, an important part about an ally. To have an allyship with a plant, it, it's a connection that needs to be tended and you need to create something from it. So I just want to draw a parallel. If we go back to the traditional indigenous ways of working with plants through the etas that they do in South America, most of the time the individuals that do this are people that are on the path of uh, being a healer. Right. So the intention for connecting with the plants through long dietas that could be weeks or months, years, you know, again, it takes time to cultivate a deep relationship with the plant. And our intention for doing that is to eventually receive the blessing to be a carrier of the medicine that this plant holds. So you you it's basically a seed that is planted inside of you and this spirit is now alive inside of you and you can work with it through what you give life to and the healers then would do it in their healing work right but what the plants are communicating with me is that it is not just for the healers anymore you know this is for everyone because we are we are supposed to co-create a world with the plants and there is a plant that can support you in whatever mission you are here to um, experience yourself through so that can be, you know, in the future, we need conscious leaders, we need conscious entrepreneurs and doctors and uh, inventors and uh, business owners, you know, whatever it is that you are here to give life to, there will be a plant that can support you on that mission and uh, strengthening the connection that you have to it. Right now we're, we're going to talk a little bit about different ways of connecting, how you might want to start your own explorations uh, from, you know, finding a place in nature that you're going to spend time in to eventually have your first connection with a plant where after you have connected with it for some time, you might choose to do some dream work with it. And then after some time, you might be ready to do a plant initiation. And then maybe you are ready to do a journey with a plant, which is gonna be longer. And there are all of these different ways to cultivate these relationships. And there are many different practices that you can um, uh, invite into these connections that will strengthen um, your bond and that will awaken you also to your higher sensory perceptions because that is what we want to activate when we go into these connections right so that we can hear the plant so that we can know how this plant is communicating with me and and um, that is a part of our own expansion as well right coming back to our core learning to listen through the heart and not just be so driven by you know it needs to be rational and logical and in my mind and oh no we're coming back to the heart center that is how nature communicates with us and so it's going to be a beautiful journey of healing if, if you're new to this and maybe you've done it for some time already and you want to find some new ideas and inspiration of how you might deepen your connection to nature and find your allies and um, just go on this big adventure because it is a big adventure and I love it so much. Oh, this life is just so wondrous when we start working with it in this way, you know. 
Um, and each plant has its own little nature spirits with it, like its own little tribe of fairies too, which are like, yes, you know, woo! <laughs> they want to teach us. So uh, let's get into it. Step number one, find a place in nature where you can spend time. When life is just starting to sprout in spring, spirit is just so energized and full everywhere. It's like... Yes, the fairies will be working hard <laughs> with making life grow. Um, so by you spending time in a natural environment and just, you know, introducing yourself to the land, very important step, introducing ourselves, giving little offerings. Hello, I'm here to learn, you know, speaking with the plants around you and the minerals and the beings that are there, allowing yourself time. Don't rush it. Don't feel like you need to find the plant straight away. And you're like, I need this right now. I need so much. Relax, okay. <laughs> it takes time for nature to also feel into you. Oh, who is this person? Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, they really want this because they've come back three times these past few weeks. Okay, good. So you want to cultivate a relationship with the land which is an important part also of cultivating your relationships with the plants. <laughs> so as you've spent some time in this area and you start exploring the little plants and the trees that are around and after some time, you will feel that there's gonna be a plant or a tree that's gonna be very much like, oh my God, take me, I got something to teach you. And you might be entering that at the time with an intention, you know, this is what I need guidance with. This is where I am. You know, maybe you're struggling with some mental aspect that you're like, help. <laughs> maybe there is a wound in you from your childhood. Maybe you're not aware of anything of this and maybe you just want to get inspired to seek a truth outside of you that can awaken it in, inside of you. You know, there's so much to discover and you are the ones that are setting the foundations for this. What do you want to learn? It needs to be something that uh, is coming from the heart, okay? Um, and, and our core intention is that of learning about our existence, about um, the purpose that we are here to co-create ourselves through right getting to know ourselves and exploring our inner spheres through these connections and so eventually a plant will be like hello i got something to tell you do, do, do. you'll be like oh that plant over there oh maybe i should go and sit by it <laughs> and then you'll be like hello i can feel that there's something going on here what do you, you got something to tell me and it'll be like yeah just look at me i'm oh, looking at it you know that's an important part also of the connection to inspect the plant. Like, how is it growing? Uh, what is the shape of the leaves? What does the flower look like? What is the colors? Um, and depending on what season it grows in, you can actually tell quite a bit about the qualities of, or, or the spirit of the plant. Such as here in Sweden, we have the snowdrop that comes now already in February. It starts growing. It's beautiful, beautiful little flower that's like bloop. It's got this white little bell, little poof, and it's like puff opens up and the light shines down. It's a way shower, this plant. I've done some dreaming with it and it's just so beautiful. It's probably one of the most beautiful flowers I know. And it's so, and it just keeps getting more and more beautiful when it opens up. Um, and it contains an alkaloid called galantamine, which uh, affects your um, memory receptors in your brain. So it is a plant that is really good. It's a really good dream, dream ally, because it will give you a 
this is my experience of dreaming with it that it's very straight in 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 uh, showing you the way through the dream worlds and then having you remember it when you wake up so if you have snowdrops where you live and maybe you also think they're super beautiful it could be an invitation to go on a little dream journey with it and this is an excellent way of starting your explorations is to dream with the plants before you do an initiation and before you do a journey So when you've established a connection with the plant that you feel like, I'm going to dream with you now, uh, by spending time with it, listening to it, it's going to awaken some things inside of you. And uh, of course, before you ingest any plant, you want to do some research on it. You want to know what kind of alkaloids does it constitute of or what other um, uh, elements uh, does it contain that might be toxic or you know what parts can I ingest of the plant and um, you want to do that research before but when you dream with a plant basically what you can do is just a simple infusion that you will drink just before you go to bed and when you harvest a plant this is important steps okay because you connect first with the plant you ask for permission when it is time i'm ready to journey with you i want to go on a dream journey you speak your intentions this is what i'm asking for you will feel if the plant is like yes let's do it it will feel expansive you will feel very excited if it doesn't want to do it you're probably going to feel feelings like oh is it really? you might be questioning am i should i do it or not that means maybe not but if you get a yes then you will ask the plant i will harvest you this day and then i will come and please um, allow your spirit to be full in full presence of the parts that i will harvest and you will again ask the plant to guide you to what parts uh, is going to be harvested um, if you can ingest all parts of the plants i suggest you harvest all of it and get all of the different essences of the plants in the brew that you will be making um, but you will sense what you are supposed to do and also after researching it you will know the roots might not be good to ingest or some other parts so maybe i will just do the flowers or again okay. feeling into it and then you sing to the plant you give offerings first and then you sing to the plant intuitively and as you sing you feel the love streaming out of you and the gratitude for the plant allowing you to do this and there is this whole energy being created through the song and then you harvest it, duk, 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 just the parts that you need, duk, 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 duk. then you go home, duk, 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 duk. making your infusion before you go to bed. And uh, you can allow the infusion to, you know, soak it in hot boiling water for maybe 20 minutes or something like that to get all of it into the water. And as you prepare that, again, allowing your intentions to be infused into the medicine. This is important parts of brewing potent medicine is to be really aware of what you're doing and to speaking your intentions into it, singing the light into it, calling in spirit to be a potent part of this medicine and, you know, feeling that gratefulness for the connections that you are now establishing with this plant. And then um, maybe one night of dreaming is all you need to get the guidance that you are seeking. Maybe you want to dream for two or three days with the plant. When I did my little snowdrop journey, I only needed one day. It was a very, very clear message. <laughs> it was like, oh, put the day going that way. Okay.
And then as time goes on and you are integrating the guidance that you are getting, maybe you feel already a month after I'm ready to have my first initiation. I'm going to call in the plant that can assist me right now. This is what I'm working with. Help, please. And you'll be out again walking somewhere, do, 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 calling in the plants that can work with me right now. Um, and so maybe there will be many plants that are like, hello, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. I have that when I'm out, you know, it's like, oh, everybody wants to who should I choose? <laughs> but you will know, you will choose the plant that can work with you at this time. Um, with whatever it is that you are asking for, right? Um, and your intentions, again, can be anything. It can be anything. It's from healing, some form of imbalance. Maybe you're working with some physical imbalance in your body and you want to call in a plant that can help you with that. Maybe there is some uh, trauma from the past that you want to let go of. Maybe there are some blockages. Maybe you want to get um, help with uh, communicating your truth or... Um, anything that you can think of that you need to keep growing or maybe you are just wanting to learn something that is of the highest highest alignment to my growth right now it could be that as well and then plant will come and then that is an excellent opportunity to for you to listen even more because I might not really know what I want to learn so you have to be really attentive and really listen, what is awakening inside of me through this connection? So that is um, a way for us to learn to communicate with plants and to listen to them because they um, access our awareness through our subtle senses, through our emotions, through our thoughts, through inspiration and also through creativity. This is one channel that is really um, active for me. You know, uh, when I do my journeys, it's always different, right? Depending on what plant that I'm working with. But many times I'm being guided to be creative. This is how they like to express themselves and show uh, themselves through me. So that can be through singing or writing or now I get this idea of a project that I'm going to start or uh, maybe I'm going to make a sculpture and it's going to be this, this whole intricacy around whatever it is that I'm creating. And as I create intuitively, it's always a journey of discovering as it goes on. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I had no idea before I started. And then the whole story comes to me after it's been created. Um, <clears throat> So, and that takes practice, right? It takes practice to activate these uh, sensory organs inside of us. And it's good to be patient. And it's natural in the beginning to be like, well, was that really like, or was it not? Or am I just imagining this? Or, you know, it's, it's part of it. Um, and, but learning to trust, learning to trust, specifically when you set your intentions and you ask out loud for guidance, trust that which is coming to you. You have that connection to spirit all around you. It hears you. So when we speak with intention from our heart, we will always be guided. And sometimes we might be wrong, you know, and that's fine. It's a part of our learning as well. Don't be discouraged if that happens to you. You learn from it. Yeah, we are not here to be perfect and do everything excellent. We're students of life. And it's beautiful to allow it to unfold in the way that it wants to. It's an adventure, you know, it's a big exploration. So now when you are ready to do your first initiation, which is going to be a journey um, that you devote entirely to this plant, a journey or an initiation can be one day, two days, maybe even three days. If you're just starting out, you know, you will feel into it yourself how long you want to go. But during these days of the initiation, you're going to spend time alone with the plant and with your intentions. 
So you prepare yourself for something like this. This is not something that you just go up and be like, now I'm going to set up an initiation. <laughs> you will feel into when it is time to do it and you will sit with your intentions with a plant. And after you feel prepared and ready, again, I encourage you to listen to your inner guidance and the plant that you are working with. Because also your preparation stages involves you getting to know the plant by yourself, by your intuitive connection and through studying it. So you want to find out what it's, is the constitution of the plant, its energetics, how is it working in the body, what organs is it targeting, how is it moving, because that's going to tell you about the spirit of the plant as well. You want to learn about the astrological correspondences. So what planets are connected to it that is also going to teach you about the energetics of the plant and the spirit that is housing it so you can learn if it has masculine or feminine qualities through going into how it is working in the system and the planetary constitutions as well and then of course you will feel into how it is presenting itself in you and how you want to interpret that um, but there are pretty uh, strong inclinations to if it has a stronger masculine energy or a stronger feminine energy. And that doesn't mean, you know, it's a man, it's a woman. No, <laughs> it's just energetics. So if I think about uh, two of my allies, tobacco, for example, very, very masculine, masculine uh, spirit and energy, very fiery, very fiery. And the pine is also a very masculine spirit, very fiery in its nature. They both have a um, connection to the planet Mars and to the sun. And so by making these connections, we understand what we also can work with in ourselves, what they might be enhancing in ourselves, like the solar plexus, the inner sun energy, our connection to our identity and our mission in this life. And Mars, which is extremely um energizing you know it energizes our desires and and um our goals and you know it can really be that fuel that we need to maybe you know push not push but um um when you know the cor astrological correspondence of the plant if it is a plant for example that has a very strong affinity or connection with the moon Perhaps you want to harvest the plant during a full moon or during a new moon, depending on what it is that you are working with, to harvest that energy during the time of uh, the plant harvest as well. Um, but generally, harvesting the plant in the morning on a sunny day when the dew has evaporated is just fine. currently working on a guide, a complete guide to set up your own plant initiations, which will have everything that you need to get inspired and encouraged to create your own initiations with all the foundations of how to set your intentions, uh, different ways of connecting with plants, of harvesting, making medicines, setting up your altar, practices that you can do during your initiation to strengthen your connection and open up your creative channels how to close it down um, and uh, suggestions of uh, integration tools and methods to keep working with whatever it is awakened in you after you end it i won't be sharing all of that here this what you get now can inspire you to possibly want to discover a little bit by yourself <laughs> This, that you are going to go through all of these steps that you will create with your intent and your focus is creating an energy so you're like creating this energetic sphere that is just going to potentize that space that you will be entering during your initiation and this is beautiful and magical the way this actually works because you're creating magic and you know you can just compare it to your human relationships if you have a relationship that you devote yourself like this to with a human being how amazing would that be 
that would be a really beautiful relationship to have um, because the the way that we give and how we open ourselves up in a relationship is what truly brings us expansion and growth dare to show our true nature dare to be vulnerable dare to be honest and give back also when you go into this initiation you might connect to parts of yourself that are not so fun to look at you know it's that almost always happened for me when I when I enter a journey you know because if I'm going to connect to my gifts or make space for that to enter me I would have to look at whatever it is that I'm living out that might be limiting that from actually entering my sphere so shadow work is a natural part that we sometimes have to go through when we do these initiations and it is not it is not it might be really fucking hard when it comes up and like oh do I need to look at this I don't want to <laughs> Or you'd be like, okay, you know, you won't be like that, <laughs> of course, because you will have the support that you need to go through it. And everything that you need to understand in relation to it is going to be awakened and communicated with you through your connection with the plant. And the beautiful thing is when you have a connection with the ecosystem where this plant lives, there are going to be spirits around that is also going to be helping you in your journey. And preferably you want to spend some time there during your journey, sitting in meditation or just being there, giving thanks, asking for guidance. All of the spirits are going to want to help you. Um, and then when you are done with your journey, you're going to spend some time integrating everything. And this integration phase might be, you know, it might be really long. And sometimes you might not understand something straight away when you're in the journey, but at, because you will be journaling, you will be taking notes of your dreams that you have during your journey. Very important because plants communicate with us in the dream spheres as well. And maybe it's going to be a big mystery to you, which is going to take some time for you to solve. But that's, again, a part of the adventure and it's amazing. So now when you have received this introduction, of the first steps that you can take if you are a beginner or if you have done this for some time and you want some inspiration to continue your explorations um, this is a good foundation and if you have this foundation you can expand it you can expand it you will get the support that you need and the guidance that you need from your connections with the plants seek to grow within that and it shall awaken in you the wisdom that is already in you. And if you want support or guidance, I will soon be sharing the complete guide for the ones that wants to explore it by yourself. I will have my first um, plant journey with Margaret in September here in Sweden. Yes. That is it for me today. Thank you for spending this time with me. I'm so happy that you are here. And I'm so happy that I get to share this with you all and inspire you to awaken to these connections and explore yourself. And again, if you feel like you want to make a little donation, you can do that by... And you can listen to my music on SoundCloud and Spotify and all other streaming platforms. And you can visit my website to dive into the galactic garden and the artwork and everything else that I'm offering. I will also be sharing the upcoming retreats and my offerings for this year on my website. Bye, 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 bye now.